Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. It's Friday! So thank you for joining me on my Facebook Live. And it is Friday, so that means it's Fun Fold Friday. Just trying to get the comments to show. All right, we're good. Hi Phyllis, hi Diane. Just getting them on my iPad because it helps me to see if I'm out of camera, which is once you get once I get crafting in here, I forget to check. There we go. So it's not much fun watching me if you can't really see what I'm doing. All right, comments are on. Hi, Teresa. So I forgot that I had an appointment yesterday. That's why I wasn't here. But I'm back today and we are using Pretty Perennials and Perennial Petals Dyes. So this was a set that was designed by Dina Rico and when you reach a million dollars in sales, you get to go to the head office and help one of the designers design a stamp set which is pretty awesome. So hers is really fun to work with. Up until now, I've been doing pastels. And today I do have one pastel and then a um, more bright colors. Because most of the cards I've seen with this stamp set have been brights. So I thought I would soften it up a bit and use some more subtle colors. Hello everyone. Hi Monique, hi Barb. Hello Sylvia. Okay, as I look at my window, it's so pretty. The snow, it's snowing quite heavy actually, but there's no wind, so it's just coming down to the ground. It's really pretty. And I hope if any of you are in any of the areas affected in the States by those crazy storms, that you're safe, that you have heat, and that all is good in your little world. Okay, so we're just making two cards today. I'm not sure how long they're gonna take. And this is called a double easel fold card. So you might have seen it before, it's not nothing new, but I'll show you what I did. So you have your base layer, which is a regular card base, four and a quarter by 11. I feel like the camera's pretty close, but that's okay. So four and a quarter by 11, fold it at five and a half. Then your next piece, now I did print out these and then I changed it up as I went because I wanted to add more layers of color. But this is basically um, the measurements. You have your base piece and then you have this little easel piece. So this is four by 10 and a quarter. But I did shrink mine down because I wanted to add a layer of pink to the back. But typically it would be four by 10 and a quarter scored at two and a half and five. Okay. I'm sure when, I'm sure you've seen this card before. I have two, but I've actually never made it. Hi, Judith. So we'll just leave that here. And I did shrink it down a bit because my colors that I'm using are Blushing Bride, no, no, Petal Pink and Pool Party and Soft Seafoam. So when I just had the blue, I didn't feel like the pink was gonna pop. So I added another layer of pink, petal pink, four by five and a quarter, and it's just gonna get tucked under here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that. Now, I decided to go ahead and stamp the first one, and then the second one we can stamp together. Hi, Wanda. I am great. It's Friday. So we're going to add this to the white. Make sure I'm in the camera here. And I did go ahead, I thought, oh, I'm going to go ahead and put an insert. So I made one and then realized the card base is white as well. But I'm going to put it in anyways because I probably would typically use 
basic white for this card, but I didn't have any. So this will just give it a bit more um, structure. Okay, so we have our pink on the top. We have our insert. This looks big. Oh no, four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so now we're going to add our little fold. So this just goes on like this. So you center it on this back piece. And I like just that little pop of pink. And then it's going to stand like this. I don't know if you can see it, but it stands like that. So it's an easel, double easel fold. Okay. Now, to make my designer series paper, I just went ahead and stamped. So this piece is three and a half because I um, added this extra layer, but in my instructions it says three and three quarters. It's bugging me. And by five and three and three quarters by two and a quarter. So I just added those together. So this piece is seven and a quarter and then I'm going to cut it. But I wanted to do almost like one sheet when you're stamping the whole sheet. Hi Marty. So I went ahead and stamped it. Now I found it a bit too bright white. I find the new white a bit brighter. So what I did is I took my blending brush and ever so lightly went in around the flowers and added a little bit of pool party and it just softened it up. I don't even think you can tell, but you would see the difference if I had shown it to you before I did it. All right, so now I have to go back to these measurements. So I need one piece that's five inches and one piece that's two and a quarter inches. And I just wanna check because I messed up, messed around with all these. Yeah, five inches. So once I cut it at five inches, the other piece should be two and a quarter. So I'm just going to grab my trimmer, cut it at five. The Stampin' Up! trimmer is great because you can um, cut and score. So we're just going to cut that off. I just wanted to show you how the piece was assembled. So this one's going to go back here. And then I have some ribbon choices. I couldn't decide which ribbon or where to put the ribbon. And it might be a last minute decision. So we actually have quite a few layers on this, which is fine. Now you can't really tell, but I am going to match it up. I find it easier just to, to stamp the whole big piece and then just cut it as opposed to stamping each little piece. All right, so we've got, so here's what it looks like from the side. So it's a double easel, so it folds like that. It's nice because it's a very nice display card. So for the flowers, originally I stamped color on color. So this is pool party. I did pool party on pool party, but I didn't like it. And so I switched and did the flowers on white and I like that a lot better because of the white in the paper. So I have the sentiment you make the ordinary extraordinary from the succulents, the greeting is from the succulents and simply succulent and the die cut is from the succulents. Isn't that a pretty die cut? It's very feminine. Oh thanks, I like this color combo too. So my idea is we're gonna have this down here and then we're going to have some flowers. I also have, so this one's the subtle, so I'm adding vellum. And we wanna make sure that it's not gonna go off the card. We could put it to the side, but I think I want it centered. And we may or may not add all of these flowers. So I have, there's three different sizes of flowers. Where did the pink one go? So there's the big size, medium size, and the small size. For the small size, there is 
an extra stamp that you can go over top and it adds some uh, lines to it. I've done it same color. You can't really tell, but trust me, it's there. So I'm just deciding about this leaf thing and where I want to put my, oh, there's another flower, where I want to put my flowers. So my idea was to maybe put one there and then maybe a couple over here. So let's see how that's going to look. I also went ahead and did vellum. So one of the dies cuts out these cute little insert thingies. That's the big one. And one of the dies also, no, one of the stamps also has all these little dots for the middle of the flower. So let's go ahead and add the vellum first and then we can figure out the rest. So I'm just going to put the dot in the middle. And of course, we'll add bling. So there's one. So we'll add it to the little one. No, this one. And, oh yeah, there's two. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna use, but I may as well add them now because if I don't use them today, I'll use them for something else. So I didn't use vellum for the next one because it doesn't really suit with the brights, I don't think, as much. I like it more with the subtles. And we will go back and add bling later. Okay, so let's go back to our card. We have these four flowers. There's another little one too if we want to use it. And I don't like these ones. So our ribbon choices that you can be thinking about is I had this one just lying on my desk. I know it's not pool party, it's darker, but I kind of liked it. But I think we need to wait and see where our flowers go. The other thing I was thinking of is pool party. And we could put it up here and tie a bow. Let's do that because we can take it off if we don't like it. Oopsie. I thought this might look pretty just up at the top because we're not really accenting anything. Actually, you know what? I do have an extra one of these. I do have an extra one of these, but I don't want to put it on there because I don't want this one of my focus flowers. I want my focus flowers to be the ones that are going to be down on the little flap. So that idea just got nixed. I'm just going to tie the bow here in the middle and then we can see if we like it because I think it's going to be difficult to put bows around the flowers actually. All right, let's just, it does look pretty. Yeah, we'll, we're gonna do bling. We've got the bling. Here's our bling. These, I love these, these artistry sequins. Okay, so now we have our leaf. We have our sentiment. And you know what I'm going to do, because this one kind of gets hidden, I'm going to cut it off and use it separately. So then I can put this quite a bit higher. This is going to go down here. I'm, hmm. Okay, I'm going to put this on. Might be a mistake, but you can see I messed up that side. That's why paper has two sides. Okay, so let's put that there. Then we're going to tuck this in with a glue dot. Now the next one is all the bright colors. We've got Granny Apple Green, Melon Mambo. Okay, I want it as close to the side without going off the card. Okay. And I want to make sure that this doesn't cover my greeting. So I'm going to put dimensionals right here.
Hopefully that works. All right, so the pool party bow, I think is gonna look good there. Okay, so there we have our pink flower, but I feel like we need a blue flower or two. So here's the leaf that I took off of this and I'm gonna add it to this blue flower. I can get a dimensional. There we go. I'm putting the dimensional pretty close to the bottom because I want to see as much of the leaf as I can. All right, that's pretty. Let's put that. I'm going to put a dimensional right there. Let's see if that works. It's so pretty outside right now. It's those big, huge snowflakes. Okay, that's good and glue dot I'm gonna tuck it under actually where is the glue dot and I think one more and popped up Okay, that's the, see I was thinking of this one and I do like the color, but I think I'll leave that one and it doesn't interfere with the card. So now we have those amazing artistry sequins that, uh, I don't even know what color they're supposed to be, but they just match everything. So we're gonna add some to the middles of the flowers I want that one over there. I think I'll use the smaller ones for the little flowers. Does anyone have any fun activities planned for the weekend that you're doing in your house? Okay, now, oh yes, yes, yes. There is another color one. Hmm, it's kind of orangey, but I don't know. I think it might work. That one's too dark. I'm gonna go with it. They kind of pull up the color that you put it with. Like that's not a pink sequin, but I think it looks pretty. All right, so there's our first double easel fun fold. You could have multiple, no, I guess you can't really put a message there because it the, the bends so your message is in here so i'm just going to show you how it looks isn't that pretty so pretty and if someone gets this guaranteed they're going to stand it up somewhere to admire it i want to add one more little sequin here And the greeting, you make the ordinary extraordinary. I bet everybody has a friend that they could send this card to. Oh, you're getting your first COVID shot. <laughs> it's sad to say that that's exciting, but that's exciting. So that card's done. So for our next one, we're using all bright colors. And again, I've kind of played around with the measurements because I wanted to add the three layers of color. Oh, those are not for that. All right, Calypso Coral. No, no, I always say that. Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, Melon Mambo. So we're not going with vellum on these ones. We're going with the bright colors, even on the flowers. We're going with the bright overlays. So this one's gonna have a totally different look. But first thing we have to do is our stamping. 
So I'm going to use my mat because I did find when I was stamping the other ones that you really did need the mat so that you got a nice clear image. And this is a piercing mat. I think it's called a piercing mat. And to be honest, I don't think we have anything more that we used to have these little piercing guide things, but not anymore. Okay, I don't want to get the colors mixed up. So I'm going to start with a couple of Melon Mambo in the large flower. Whoa. That is bright. Okay. I think that's all I want of that. And we're going to take the second biggest in Coastal Cabana. This is so bright. It's crazy. Now I also figured out this little one. So there's a little stem and these little flowers. So let's try some of those before I get carried away here because it's kind of cute. So then you take this one and let's do it in Melon Mambo, but like not quite as crazy. Oh, it's cute, except I made a mess there, but that's fine. We'll, <laughs> we'll make sure that piece is tucked behind so we're not going to see it. Okay, now I'm going to use this one. Coastal Cabana. And I don't know why that turned that color, but we're just going to go with it. All right, let's add some greenery. So we have a leaf. I'm going to move these because I must have done something in the wrong spot. So let's just add some leaves to the flowers and then just randomly. Let's put a leaf down here where I smudged. And what do we need in that corner? Oh, we have our little flowers. And our little dots would be pretty as well. Let's do some in green. You can kind of see now how it was getting, how, how white it is. And that's why I went and I took my blue. I'm just gonna show you the difference. I'll just try it here. Okay, I could go on, but that's enough. Actually, I do wanna put some dots. All right, let's see if I can close these. If you want to get ink on your fingers, that's a good one. So what I did with the pool party, even though this is a light color, we're just taming this down a little bit. So just a little bit and with ever so light a touch to just go in and around the flowers because it softens up the white just a little bit. I love these blending brushes. I'm barely touching. All right, that looks good. All right, 
right, now we can put it together. So it's the same. We need to pull this back and cut it at two and a quarter. Now, which side? No. We want this to be five because I want to hide this little mess underneath the flap. Now, for the scoring, for the little piece, the big piece you just score it in half at five and a half, but this one you score at two and a half and five. So two and a half and five. And that'll give us our little fold for the front. This one's gonna look so different than the other one. So folds up and then back. And again, I wanted to get all the colors in. So we have Coastal Cabana, Melon Mambo. Oh, I did this one differently. Coastal Cabana, then Granny Apple Green, and then Coastal Cabana, and then our designer series paper. So for this one, I did the extra layer here. For this one, I did it inside the card. I don't know why. So let's go ahead and glue this on. And I do have ribbon for this one as well, and I'm probably gonna put it in the same spot. Whoopsie. So those colors are so pretty together. Okay. And then when you throw in Melon Mambo, it's very pretty. And they're just gonna both look different. So that's a lot of layers. Now my little boo-boo here is gonna go down here so that you can't really see it. All right, and then this one, I did cut another piece of Melon Mambo for the front as well. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Just to pick up, I find when you add a layer, it picks up the color in this that you stamped. That stamped really dark, just saying. And I'm not gonna try to match this up because it actually matches up there. And once you cover it with a few flowers, you can't tell anyways. Whoopsie. Hmm. <laughs> yes, these are kind of springy colors, aren't they? I saw yesterday that it was 32 days till spring, so today maybe it's 31. Who knows? Okay, now I have from the same Simply Succulents, kind people are my kind of people. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to put it over this one because this one's really dark. Then we have, now I wrote it down this time, Playing with Patterns. That's, this is the same ribbon that had that navy blue in it yesterday, that we played with yesterday. Let's go ahead and do our bow on the same spot. I think it'll look pretty up here. This is a really pretty ribbon as well. Now you could have done some more stamping into the middle of the flowers, but I didn't think it needed it. Okay, that's pretty. I'd go back and put a glue dot there just to hold it down, but it's perfect for now. So we have our little sentiment. Then we have Granny Apple Green. And our two flowers. Um, there's a bunch of flowers here. Wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do. You could just focus on the one color, but we really have all the colors here, so I think I'll put all the colors on. So I'm gonna add those middle pieces. 
You can hardly tell, but I did stamp that over top with the same color um, with the little dots, but you can't even tell. You can tell on this one. I really like these little layering things. They're really cool. Let's put this one. I don't know if there's a right way. There definitely is a right way when you're using the dies. You have to line it up so that it fits the best. And of course, when I was doing it, it was the very last time that I turned it. Okay, so we're gonna add this. We're gonna add our, we're gonna do this part similar, but maybe we'll do our flowers kind of cascading around. So I like that leaf there. Let's put this on first. We're gonna use dimensionals. Hi, Pat. Hey, look, I messed up that one too. The die set is from, um, no, the sentiment is from Simply Succulents. What die set is your message from? Simply Succulents for the sentiment and Potted Succulents for the dies. Norm just got home and is whistling. Potted succulents, and then these two sentiments. So simply succulents is the set. So let's go ahead and put this one on. I'm gonna kind of center it, but over to the right. I cut out a bunch of flowers, a bunch of leaves. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do. So I'm thinking this. Let's put the bigger one at the bottom this time. I'm gonna cut this one off again. It seems to hide it all the time and it's perfect to use with the other flowers. So we want our leaves on first. We'll use a glue dot. You could use white glue. Glue dots are just quicker. Okay, that's good. Now dimensionals for the flower. We're almost done. Seems like I've been talking for a long time. Oh no, 3.30. We don't wanna go past the edge because that's how it's gonna stand. Okay, this is pretty. Now maybe let's put this one over here. Oh, let's put that leaf on the back. I always tuck it between two of the petals so you can see it more. Okay, dimensional. Oh, you know what? We've been forgetting. Wink of Stella. Clearly I should have done this step before, but We'll just add some here to the outside piece. We'll add it to these little ones. I actually fussy cut these because sometimes lining up the dies takes longer than it does to fussy cut. Okay, so I do want a couple of these down here. I like having some hanging kind of off the edge and then some popped up. So making sure that we're still inside. I think that one needs a dimensional. I used a little one. So I like overlapping. One more or not? No, I think just two. 
All right, and these leaves I think are a little bit too big for these ones. So these ones don't get leaves. Now we're gonna come in with our sequins, same sequins. So I'm gonna put this one in the middle of this flower. And then these ones in the middle of these flowers. These sequins, man, I don't know how many different colors I've matched them with, but when they're iridescent like that, they just pick up whatever color you put them with. Okay. So for the inside, I could have stamped, but they're all put away now. So I'm just going to add a little flower and a leaf and maybe a couple of little sequins because the sequins are nice and flat. So just go ahead and add this. And then we have this one extra flower. I'm gonna get this, I'll take this leaf because that seems to be the one that I'm always not using. And we'll just put that right down there. I'm gonna put it flat because it is on the inside of the card. called again double easel fold card I'm sure some of you have made it it's not a new idea but I actually have never made one before and so we have our two different ones we have our subtle you make the ordinary extraordinary and then the greeting is inside so here's how it kind of looks when it's standing I think it's pretty. Oh, <laughs> I'm holding it at the wrong end of my camera. You've never made one either, Marty? I haven't either. I've seen them online, but I've just never made one. So, fun fold Friday. So here's how this one looks. And there's what it looks like from the side. I don't know, subtles or brights, which is your favorite? They're both, they both have a different look. So subtles or brights. I feel like this needs something here, but I'm not going to mess around with it. All right. Those are our cards for today. Why am I so off camera? Oh, it's Friday. What can I say? It's Friday. I was going totally the wrong way. Okay. Bright. Phyllis likes bright. So I will post the, I'm going to post just these instructions and then you can adjust it if you want to add the extra layers because I don't, I don't know if you really need the extra layers, but I just wanted to pull out all the colors in the cards. So the, the instructions I'm going to give you is just one less layer. So it would be like this one without the pink layer, if that makes sense. I'll leave it here in case you want to take a screenshot. I don't know why I can't get this centered today. Just because it's Friday, I guess. Thanks, Manick. I know at first I think I like the subtle one better, but now that I see the bright one, it is pretty. I am going to add some bling to this, though. And when you add Wink of Stella, it probably doesn't show up on camera, but it shows up a lot when you look at the card in person. I'm just like going over the whole thing. All right, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I do appreciate it if you like or share my video. And I will be back on Sunday night for Celebration Sunday. Hopefully I don't forget this time. I won't. So Celebration Sunday, I'm not sure what we're going to be making. I'll have to see what I haven't used yet because Celebration is only on till February 28th. So it's the perfect time to stock up on glue, adhesives, anything like that because you can get free stuff. All right. Thank you for sharing, Teresa. If you're watching on YouTube, 
I do invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell for notifications. You can also hit the bell on Facebook for notifications as well. Oh good, the DSP is orderable. Sometimes um, if you're a demo, and, well some even if you're a customer and you try to order one of the suites and it says not orderable, sometimes, well typically it means just one or two of the items in the suite is not orderable but you can order the other things separately. For instance, Pat was just talking about the uh, ice cream designer series paper is available, but the suite is not because the punch is on back order. So you can still sometimes get um, the things that you need. All right, I hope you enjoyed Fun Fold Friday. Oh, Wanda, you ordered the butterflies and extra paper. Yeah, and you got, perfect. And you got two more celebration items. Um, I am stocking up right now on the ombre paper. Not stocking up, but I have a couple of extra packs because I really like that. Okay guys, happy Friday and I hope you have a great weekend, whatever you're doing. Stay warm if you're in one of the areas that has those crazy storms. I hope you're safe and well. Okay, see you Sunday night. Have a great weekend.